Hi, today we're going to look at adding a new asset. Assets are added by selecting the Add an Asset link on the Tasks homepage. On the Add Asset screen, firstly we need to complete details about the asset itself. So we give the asset a name and a description. Optionally we can add an asset reference and then we must also add the purchase date of the asset. This date is to facilitate the depreciation calculations. And now we must also add the original purchase price of the asset and what account that this asset is charged to. So in this case we will charge it to office equipment. It's worth noting that this account does not record the actual purchase itself it is only used for the purposes of calculating the depreciation. So now we move on to the de depreciation settings themselves. It's possible to add in another description here to aid in the, in the depreciation. The first thing we need to add is a depreciation rate. This can be any, any rate that you want. In this case we'll put in 15 for 15 percent. And then you select the account that the depreciation will be taken from. In most cases this will be the depreciation account itself. The next field that we need to complete is the depreciation method. With the declining balance the depreciation is taken from the, the uh, product's value um, at that time. In, with straight line it's taken from the original purchase price. We will select straight line. And finally we need to select the accumulated depreciation account, which is the account that the depreciation will be stored in. These accounts are pre-created for you in Yendo. And that's it, and we hit the Save Asset button. The asset will be saved and is now accessible on the Fixed Assets List screen.